Okay, roofing patch. So I went inside, I looked to see where it was leaking. And it was leaking like a foot over and three foot down, which is like right here. And these had the little drip seams on them here that I gooped up. And then they have the, the uh, drip seams here that I gooped up all the way down. So theoretically, it's like right around here where it's leaking inside. So I'm thinking this, these were leaking. Could have been a, a nail at the seam, at the drip seam. And uh, could have been right about. These seams actually don't fall on the place where it was leaking. So we got a foot over and three foot down. Right about here is where it was. So I'm thinking one of these seams was leaking, the drip seam. This one here looks kind of funky, but uh, it's not leaking here at all. You can see they did some repairs on it. I actually uh, put this patch on here because I was thinking it was going to be leaking from the top. I put that on a week ago and it still started to leak. It's only leaking in this one spot here, like right around, right around there. Could have came from up here and dripped down, but we had some pretty funky seams here. it for today. I used this torch to make sure that everything was dry and uh, sometimes if you look under here you could take this and then if you got a seam somewhere see where's the seam that's not a seam you got it like this seam here you go under it you look under it and you got a nail right there at that seam then it's going to be leaking in there Like these seams, what do they call them, drip seams? There's one here too. It's actually not leaking over here. But if you have a nail at this seam, then, and it looks pretty good here, then you could probably have a leak there.